Hi, in this video I'm going to cover the use of the workday function. What the workday function does is returns a date before or after a specific number of workdays. So for example, let's say we have a start date of July 1st, 2014, when there's a holiday on 7-4, which is July 4th. And let's say that we will have five days we want to put as our days parameter. And we want to find out in five days what is going to be the ending date. So the workday function goes like this, equal workday and then the start date, we're going to select the start date here. The days are these five days, and the holidays is this July 4th. If I press enter, you'll notice that it returns back a serial number. And this, is, this serial number is basically how Excel sees dates. You have to convert that display into a date. So we can go up there into the numbers group under the home tab, and just click on the selection here for short date. And it's going to bring back July 9th. And if we count here, July, July 1st is the first. One, two, three. We don't count these dates, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Seven is four, and then five. So after the fifth date is July 9th. So it results in July 9th. So those are five work dates. One, two, three, four, five. Now I can also go backwards. So what I can do is if I type in 7 9 14, and I made this minus five it will give me back 7, 1. So it can go forwards and backwards. So how can we use this in the real world? Well, let's say we had a simple invoice here. And the simple invoice has this invoice date, and at the bottom it says the net due is 30 business days from the invoice date. So instead of counting out manually, I can just go ahead and fire up Excel and type equal workday, and then the start date is July 1st, and then the days are 30, and then the holiday, so what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use an Excel function called the date function, and I'm going to open parentheses, and what it does is it converts the date into a readable format, so Excel can perform calculations on it. So I'm going to enter the year, which is 2014, and then the month, which is July, that's 7, and then the day is 4. And then go ahead and close parentheses, and have another closing parentheses to close this particular formula. Press Control Enter to stay in that cell and you'll notice now that it has calculated out 30 business days from July 1st is 813. Now if you don't get the date function again, maybe you had a general like this, basically it's just the way that Excel displays date. If you see something like this, maybe it's in general, so I can just select that drop down and go into short date, and that will give me my result. So this is an example of how the workday function can be used in a real world scenario, so I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.